Okay, I'm Stephanie. I'm Hunter. And I'm Gannon. And we are going to take you back to 1898, where we have the Royal Hotel. It was one of the uh, first four hotels, uh, first class hotels in Excelsior Springs that served thousands of people back in its day. Uh, it had its own source of mineral water. Uh, we also had meeting rooms, ballrooms. Uh, we had two bars in it. Uh, 45 hotel rooms and 40 apartments were in this building. Uh, if you wanted to be a gangster, you can always hang out with Al Capone as well. All right, so we went into this project thinking that we wanted to do something that would benefit Excelsior, and we ended up meeting with Tasha, and we had similar ideas on what we wanted to do downtown. And we also ended up meeting with Kim Curtis at the school and had ideas sent around poverty in school. But we ended up settling with the Royal Project. Then we ended up meeting with the owner of the Royal, his name's Alexei. And we started our project from there. Okay, so we took the information that Tasha gave us and the information that Alexei gave us and we created a survey with it. Um, we published the survey out to Facebook. I don't know how many times it was shared, but we got uh, 306 responses. Um, it has four questions. And then in the beginning of the survey, we had a brief summary over the history of it and some facts over it. Yeah. The first question, are you interested in keeping history alive in your city? Uh, we asked this just to see the interest in the project that the people of Excelsior would have, and 92.8% said yes. The next question, would you want the world to be a hotel similar, similar to what it was? 88% said yes. Once the world is renovated, how likely are you staying royal? 112 people said five, which is most likely. And then, what would you like the top space of the building to be? A uh, restaurant came out on top with 166 people. Which will replace the greenhouse slash penthouse mm -hmm. that was originally there. Here's some ideas that people had that the top space could be. And all this information from the survey is used to like persuade the uh, investor when they bid on March 8th, which is when the auction is. Uh, we want them to see like, hey, like people are still interested in this building. Uh, and this is kind of like what the new things they want. Instead of a penthouse, they kind of want the restaurant. Uh, and just really show that people are really interested in this building. Here's our photos. Uh, Mr. Gander, could you push play, please? Yes. Is this a video? Yeah. All right, so we use these pictures knowing that the beauty of the building, we want to express that through our photos, of course, and that People still view this building as an eyesore in the middle of Excelsior, but on the inside, it is still really beautiful, well put together, and is not deteriorating as many people think it is. We did the same thing with the video that we created. We wanted to show the outside of the building, how beautiful it is, and the inside, how it's still well put together, and it's not really falling apart yet, which still can be renovated. And we want to show the investor that, hey, like this is still a building, a beautiful building. Come save it on March 8th, please. <laughs> oh, hang on, sorry. Push play on that, please. <laughs>
Okay, so this is our poster. Um, when I took on the task of creating the poster, I went for more of an art deco theme to match the downtown area. And uh, these are some of the posters I found from the old ads that I researched. Um, on the poster, it has a picture of the royal with our slogan, Safe History, March 8th. It has the auction dates and the property tours if anyone was interested when they saw it. All right, so now we're going to take our video pictures and post it. We're going to see if we could broadcast them in different areas of, of the town wherever we can get permission to put up the poster and pictures and share on Facebook and Twitter and that. And we ended up having around 30 people at the open house Saturday. And then now we have to measure how many people we're going to have at the auction that's interested in bidding on the building. This is the uh, building uh, from 1926 to present day, and come save history on March 8th. Any questions? Give them a chance to gather their thoughts, and then if they have questions, feel free to ask Yes. I'm a Lawson guy, so I don't know. It, has this been vacant? Yes. Is it, okay, so it's mm -hmm. vacant right now. There hasn't been anything in there recently or anything. Mm -hmm. So, okay. If yes. you guys could imagine best case scenario, no money, uh, you know, if it wasn't a case of money, what would you see the Royal being revitalized as? Best case scenario. Maybe if like we could just start a movement towards it, uh, start donating money, just kind of like renovate the lobby uh, and like the ballroom and the cafe. It's all on the same level. It's right when you walk in. We kind of turn it into like a maybe like a functional cafe slash museum inside of that, like something like that, like where the kind of the city runs it. I know you guys talked about it, and, and Tasha kind of, you know, talked about it. But you know, like if I think what she was saying, money's no object. Like, what what is your ultimate goal with this project? Like, what would you like to see an investor come in and do with the hotel? We'll make it a hotel, basically. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, if they, if money is out of the equation, uh, it's really hard because it does need renovating, mm -hmm. um, and that uses a lot of money in this building. So if someone does buy it and they don't have the money for it, hopefully they can just save it, keep it somewhat okay for the next bidder. Maybe they can come in with the same, I mean, more money and fix it up. Okay, thank you guys very much. Thank you.